okay? Fantastic. So can you guys tell us a little bit about your show Nickelodeon? You go for it. Um, okay, Nickelodeon's an animated Wings Club, animated show on Nickelodeon. It's about six fairies that uh, kick butt and save the universe every day. Nice. And uh, we have Techna, the fairy of technology. <laughs> and we have Stella, the fairy of the shining sun. And I'm Flora, the fairy of nature. And Romy is Musa, the fairy of music. Oh, this one right here. <laughs> Uh, Kristen Chenoweth is my absolute favorite actress. She's amazing. Man, then what about? But do your characters look like you at all? Uh, um, actually, a little bit. Yeah, they do. We'll say that. Um, our friend Molly Quinn, who plays um, Bloom on the show, she has red hair. Like she looks exactly like her and character. Has blue eyes. Yeah. So most of the characters are actually pretty um, similar to each other. Well, I'd like to say that I look like Stella, <laughs> where she's a tall, gorgeous blonde. Uh. <laughs> So, not so much, but you know, the rest maybe. You say Stella? Stella. Hudgens? <laughs> Stella, Princess of Solaria. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's different. You gotta okay. one track mine, so. <laughs> so, so uh, what, what is your usual day doing this voice work? Um, our, our biggest day is usually uh, Wednesday when we're all together recording uh, new episodes. Nice. So that's why we get to, that's why we're such good friends. I think we get to see each other. So, all what the do time. you guys do all the other days besides Wednesday? Um, we work separately yeah, a lot okay. during, you do ADR. Um, yeah, during the week, during the week um, without each other. But it's most fun when we come together and we're all in a room. And that's cute. Off each other, so. Wait, so. So you guys probably work on these episodes far in advance, right? Yes. Yeah. Like what? Is it, how long does it usually take for an episode to come out? Like six months? Well, it depends for our show. It, yeah. it, since it's in other countries and it's already been a show, um, it doesn't take as long because the, the animation is already done. We're just putting right. the voices to it. So okay. um, we had four specials that came out, and it only took a few months to get okay. there. So they, they pre-do all the animation before they present they did the season. Seasons one through four. Season five, they're original records, so those That's are the days together. we come together, and they send our voices to Italy, and then they animate the show based off our Damn, voices. it's a global operation. It is. Yeah. This it's one is a global operation. Outsourcing to Italy. <laughs> Man. It's an Italian show that Nickelodeon acquired the rights to. Ah, no wonder. Yeah. Yeah. They want to keep it legit style. It's like, yo, this is Italian enough. We're like no, the Lamborghinis and animated. No Jazzy exactly. show allowed. No. <laughs> so, so what, what, does, what made you girls want to come out to this anti-bullying campaign and support my life, my power .org? Uh, Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Well, um, Romy was one of the guest judges on the oh, Idance okay. um, program that they were doing, and right. so they told her they were doing this event. She told us and said, "Hey, you should really come with us," and we think it's a great thing. Nice. It's something that people don't really get word out about but it is an issue yeah. and so we just think it's really great and we'd love to support it yes so. the fairies say so stop bullying people yes. little it's children important. yes it's important you can do too a lot of damage that you too many kids are getting really harmed bad. right now can you say that in italian accent uh, we don't actually <laughs> So wait, do you ever watch your? Oh, cartoon? somebody's joining you. Too. I, I'm joining. We got the whole squad. Okay, right oh yeah. Do you, do you ever watch your cartoon animated with uh, Italian voices? Uh, we listen to it when yeah. uh, when we record. Yeah, we yeah. can hear some of it. Yeah. Does that trip you girls out? It's like a little bit. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. It's cool to see everyone's interpretation of it, just because everyone has a different, such a different one. So wait, so. So do the do the mouths of the characters speak English and then they just throw in Italian language on top or to what? No, it was actually other in Italy. Around. Yeah, really? the other way around. Yes. So it was Italian first. So when you when you girls speak in English on the show, it's like off see? The well, mouths you know what? what? We have a really great sound technician on the show and he and makes great it look writing. perfect and wow. it looks every time. Just every, he's he's an Emmy winner. He is yeah. an Emmy winner. <laughs> so Emmy Devin winner. Devin Damn, who the thought? He's a magician. He's amazing. <laughs> Who'd have thought you could meld English he, and Italian? He does the work for us. He does. And the directors and producers are always changing the words to make it fit perfectly yep. too. Wow. They're awesome. That's a lot. So they do all this grunt work and you girls just sit pretty in the studio and just oh, let your vocals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a fun job. It is. All the it is. It's a great job. Done. I love being a fair job. <laughs> I know. Best job on the planet. Hey Romy and, and, and you with the whole anti-bullying my life my power dot org campaign. But do you know Daniel Pewter or how did, how did you get involved? I actually got involved through
dance machine. Oh, okay. Yeah, because that's Because I was right. a celebrity judge when they were casting for the movie. Nice. Um, and yeah, so that's how I heard about Did it. Did you see those crazy dance machine people up there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. incredible. Oh my god. <laughs> They're like scoring like 7 million points every time. One guy was on his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's going crazy. That just makes me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you know, I was talking to my friend, I was like, you know, it's really funny because these people who are dancing right now probably like didn't know what they were going to do with their lives. And then Dance Machine comes out, and then all of a sudden it's like they found purpose. It's like, Dance Machine gave me my purpose in life. And now all of a sudden they're scoring perfect. And we're like, how crazy is that? Well, thank you, ladies. Thank, thank you for coming you. out. Appreciate it.